Hi everyone, Spider-Man 1991 here on Dark Adventure Inc. Plus, where today I'm doing a comic review of Green Arrow number 20, the conclusion to the first story arc written by Jeff Lemire on this title. Okay, um, like all the other parts in this story arc, uh, it opens up with Oliver in, in, this de in this desert in Arizona known as Black Mesa, and Oliver finally reaches his destination in this, which is this camp, which is this campsite uh, set up by this guy named Magus, who's been pretty much a bit played a sort of essential kind of role. Well, I wouldn't say essential, just kind of this uh, character that's been introduced, but I think is going to play a very important role in Oliver's life later. And so he shows up, and he finally asks Magus, "Okay, starts Miller, what the hell is going on?" And then we cut back to the act to the actual story which took place one week later which is the one we've that the issues have been getting, getting into more detail with which which has been involving this other dark archer Komodo and so one week earlier after after uh, being after his defeat from after the events of last issue Komodo uh, meets with his employers and he decided finally decides to they're giving him one last shot to take care of Oliver Queen so he decides to lure Oliver out of hiding by holding Oliver's friend Naomi hostage. And so, you know, he sets and so he said Oliver finds Naomi and his family in the Queen family mausoleum. And of course right when Oliver arrives, uh Komodo attacks him. So Komo so Oliver goes and fights Komodo while uh Oliver's who Oliver's new assistant, uh thief, uh he goes and disarms this bomb that's attached to Naomi while Oliver goes and fights Komodo. And it, it and there's a brilliant fight between the two. Um, Komodo, I mean, they're pretty much, pretty much Oliver. Do, they're pretty much just shooting arrows at each other. But then Oliver hides, and then he just takes takes Komodo out just by sneaking up and hitting him. And then, and then he sta and then Oliver is able. Then they just go into this sort of short hand to hand sequence. Then Oliver grabs an arrow and stabs it right in Komodo's eye. And but then, and right when it looks like Oliver's about to finally end Komodo. Uh, Komodo grabs a smoke bomb, uh, smoke bomb arrow, and manages to escape. Unfortunately, and of course, after all this, after and of course, a few hours later, we see Oliver and Naomi kind of recovering, and Naomi reveals that she has uh, the footage that was all the unaltered footage that can prove Oliver is innocent of killing his dad's old friend, which was at the very beginning of this issue when it looked like Oliver pushed him out a window. Well, fortunately, Naomi was able to keep some evidence and out of Komodo's hands and thus clear Oliver's name. And then we cut to a week later and we see Oliver beginning the journey, beginning the journey to Black Mesa where uh, apparently he's driving in a van but then he gets pulled over by a sheriff, by a local sheriff who then knocks him out and is apparently working with Mag Magus who says that, he pretty much basically says that Oliver's, Oliver Queen's journey is just about to begin. and. That's our explanation as to how, at the beginning of the story arc, we saw Oliver Queen stranded in the middle of the desert. Okay, well, I liked it. Um, overall, I kind of like the story arc. I mean, the Dark Archer, Komodo... I mean, I always refer to... Whenever I see uh, Green Arrow fighting an archer who's usually, who's usually dressed in black, I just call him the Dark Archer. And in this case, uh, it's Komodo. Uh, very nice... Very nice issue. Uh, things are definitely a lot different uh, than when the series started. When I mean, when the series Green Arrow started in the New Fifty Two, Oliver Queen was just kind of it felt kind of random. Uh, just Oliver was this guy who had trick arrows who was just taking down supervillains. But now we see that Jeff Lemire is starting to build more purpose into this by showing off uh, the meaning of what Oliver was supposed to be doing on the island and what. And uh, what all this was supposed to be leading to, and how this is connected to his dad, um, pretty much all of it brings back to Oliver, Oliver's dad. And it does have a similar feel to the Arrow TV show, which is nice. I think that will bring a lot of people in with this story arc. Um, what else? What else? Oh yeah. Um, also, this this last issue really tied a lot of things together. Like I mean, when the story arc started, we just it opened up with Oliver in the desert. Then said one week earlier, and that got us into the whole event with Komodo, and we're just kind of left wondering, wait, when did Oliver get stranded in the desert? Well, fortunately, it's not something that's dragged on throughout Jeff Lemire's run. We actually get it, we actually get concluded by the end of this story arc, which is very great. I appreciate that. Um, I really hope we don't have that
that with the next arc that's coming, it stays in the present. Because I really, even though it was just like a few short pages, I really didn't like how we had kind of like two stories going on at the same time. Uh, I, I'd much rather have like one thing focused in the present. Um, but uh, that's just me. Um, overall, uh, Jeff Lemire did an amazing job on his opening story arc for Green Arrow. I mean, I think that, I mean, at the, when this Green Arrow first came out in the New 52, there, the reviews weren't really all that positive. So, you know, uh, when I heard that Jeff Lemire was going to be taking over the writing duties for this title, I thought, awesome. I, I've loved this guy on Animal Man. I've loved his work uh, on Superboy pre New 52. I cannot wait for Green Arrow. And, well, well, he did a great Jeff Lemire did a great job. I mean, it's not like, you know, big, this is the best thing ever, but, you know, it's good. It's been, he's actually making Green Arrow a more readable and better book than it was when it first started. Um, yeah, I would overall, overall, I would recommend, if you are a fan of Jeff Lemire, if you, whether it's Animal Man or Justice League Dark or even his work before anything in DC, um, I would really recommend you give the Green Arrow, give this story up a shot when it's collected in trade. Um, and if you have, and also probably jump on this series maybe with next issue, issue 21, when it comes out, when it comes out in a few weeks. Uh, I think that that'll probably be a good jumping on point for people who've just heard a lot about Jeff Lemire's run. Uh, overall, Green Arrow number 20, look, very nice, great conclusion to Lemire's first story arc. Overall, he's done, he's doing an impressive job on Green Arrow, and I really hope he can bring Green Arrow to be one of the best-selling titles at DC. Um, yeah. Um, oh, one more thing. Also, if you like the Arrow TV show, I would de definitely recommend you check out Jeff Lemire's run because he it feels like he is trying to evoke the same feeling of the TV show. With I mean, not an exact copy, but just more of the similar feel uh, feel of the TV of the Arrow TV show with the Green Arrow comic. Okay, overall, uh, still overall, uh, highly recommend it. But wait for this first story arc to come out in trade and probably start reading the ongoing next month with issue 21 because I think that's going to be the beginning of a new story arc. Okay, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to Dark Avenger Inc. Plus. Uh, I'm Spider-Man1991. Have a nice day.